But then the organizer of the meeting talked to the Times of London and said, well, the British are ready to hear this. We met to discuss how to reduce the world population through a world government. Here's the Times of London. This is as big as the New York Times worldwide. This is one of the biggest newspapers. It's in the top three worldwide. And the headline is, Billionaire Club in Bid to Curb Overpopulation. America's richest people met to discuss ways of tackling a disastrous environmental, social, and industrial threat. See, they're the heroes. They're the saviors of the world. This is how they phrase it. This is how they pose it. But not only are these people madmen, not only are they wanting to kill the majority of us, but, but, they in their internal documents that are declassified, like the Royal Commission on Population, 1949, state it's not even really about saving the earth. That's their excuse to academia to carry out a program of mass extermination. And they say, with our nanotech and our genetic engineering, even by the 60s, we can kill the earth repeatedly and just regenerate it. That's why they've created seed vaults, uh, human arcs, animal arcs of the DNA. And they admit that they're actually geoengineering plagues in the final phase that will wipe out most of the surface growth on the planet and most species. They're not worried. They're so delusional and so nihilistic, they say they're going to rebuild the planet. So all you environmentalists out there that kind of go, well, we, there are too many people, it's a tough decision, but you've kind of received the common knowledge, the open secret, that, well, I guess we do have to get rid of people. They're getting rid of you, stupid. That's why you can't have kids. That's why you're dying of cancer at 45. They're killing you, dummy. You're not part of the elite. There are a lot of racists emailing me and saying, yeah, we got to get rid of the blacks and Hispanics and Asians. They outnumber us. Hey, dummies, even if you're a racist and stupid, the elites are actually targeting you more than their... The elites over and over again in these eugenics documents, we're going to get into them coming up, say, we got to first kill off the smart whites and Jews and people and, and Germanic Northern Europeans, or they will get in the way of our master plan. They'll be smart enough to discover the plan and stop us. Then we can wipe out the brown subhumans. We'll come back, go over this. Most important story ever. Stay with us. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones, and I want each of you to ask yourself this question. Do you really know what's in your tap water? In a recent study conducted by a major environmental auditor, they found that over 260 chemicals and pollutants are present in municipal drinking water. Many of these chemicals are directly linked to cancer, reproductive, immune, and developmental system diseases. Now, what are you going to do about it? The Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator is a low-cost way to take back control of you and your family's drinking water. The Ecola Blue 28 produces up to 7 gallons of water from the humidity in the atmosphere and uses state-of-the-art carbon filtration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet light sterilization techniques. That's right, clean water right from the air you breathe. Order today by calling 1-800-691-6043. That's 1-800-691-6043. Or visit Ecola Blue on the web at www.ecolobluee.com today. That's acolablue.com. We are back live. Here is the new toll-free number to call the Sunday show and the Sunday show only. 888-201-2244. 888-201-2244. Or local lines 512-646-1776. Your calls are coming up in the next hour, but I rarely do this with listeners. We're only taking calls on the subject of eugenics, but that is a wide area to discuss. State Department Memorandum 200, written in 1973, says the official U.S. government policy is to start wars, create famines, pay governments to forcibly sterilize their women to reduce world population. So when you talk about war, it's about killing people, period. Official Declassified in 1992, written in 1973. So when we talk about uh, the GMO food, which just so happens to always sterilize the different rodents they tested on, and then it always gets approval, they know what they're doing. When we talk about an 87% reduction in U.S. and European sperm count, and even the ones that men have don't have tails and can hardly swim, it's because it's done by design. These are weaponized food crops on record. I've had top geneticists and engineers on. We have the declassified government documents where the Australians 
uh, in the 50s. That's in my film uh, Road to Tyranny, made in 2002. The Age newspaper, their big newspaper, admitted sterilizing the Aborigines, putting stuff in their water. This is going on right now. Right now. That's why I hear public service announcements and doctors that are on the radio, all these shows going, drink your tap water, don't drink bottle, don't filter it, trust the government, please drink the water, <laughs> don't filter the stuff you bathe in, let your children absorb that. We're putting special nutrients in there to help you. <laughs> but the public just doesn't believe them at a gut level, you know. Well, I could go on for hours with background evidence and information. Why was I staggered, stunned Friday into Saturday? Well, I saw a front page magazine story. And that's a contributor to Fox, David Horowitz. And then I went, and, but Horowitz didn't give any photos or documents of the book. So I started looking for the book. And sure enough, Watson had simultaneously seen it. He wrote a big story about it at prisonplanet.com with the screenshots. Uh, some other sites picked it up, did a great job. John Holdren, Obama science czar, says forced abortions and mass sterilization needed to save the planet. Book he authored, which is actually a policy textbook, this is for policy level, advocates for extreme totalitarian measures to control the population. Now see, what did Dr. Eric Pianca in his books and his public statements at UT say? It's all the same. He said, we need a worldwide police state like China to carry out for sterilization and reduction of the population. And what would be ideal would be an airborne Ebola to kill at least 90%. And then his students, like piranhas, attacked me when I criticized him and said, kill all humans. This is on record. Folks, just Google a uh, PhD paper on population control. You'll get millions of hits because these little bastards, these little PhDs, are proud of themselves. They're, they're, I mean, you're, you're, you're neck deep in them. This is the norm, what you're about to hear. But, but, but why this hit me so hard is this is the head science advisor over all the science programs of the federal government and hence UN funding by extension and IMF and World Bank operations. It's all unified. And I read hundreds of pages of the book. What is online at Google and uh, Amazon, they have large sections of it at universities posted screenshots. I've got, again, two of the books, a new one and a used one, on the way to me ordered at Amazon. Since we posted a link to it, it's, it's, it's sold out on Amazon because it's only a used book. John P. Holdren. And then you look at the other authors of it, the other two authors, they're both calling for world government. Same crap in public speeches today. Now, the reason this is so important is he's now come out and calling for similar things and he wants the global carbon tax, which they admit is about starving you. Getting the country in debt, the world in debt, and then artificially restricting resources to where you can't even afford to have children. But but l let's go through what he calls for. Women could be forced to abort their pregnancies whether they wanted to or not. The population at large would be sterilized by infertility drugs intentionally put in the nation's drinking water and in the food. And they talk about how to do it. And they've already now been caught in Africa, in Latin America, in Asia, in Australia doing this. See, when I read this book, probably 250 pages I've read in the last few days, because I'm reading it slowly, every paragraph is everything I already knew. See, we had about 80% of the pieces. The biological UN diversity assessments, the RAND Corporation, the Council on Foreign Relations reports on this, books written by the... Uh, Queen Elizabeth's husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, books by Prince Charles, you know, hundreds of publications, university statements, government programs. But when they do it as a government program, they then don't list everything. It's just these eugenicists run the program. And the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation with special vaccines, an AIDS vaccine for everybody in Africa, which then in the trials happens to sterilize you. Or bird flu being mixed with vaccine trials in Europe and suddenly people dying in mass and giving it to the poor and suddenly they all die. In fact, people don't believe that. Just Google um, homeless die in bird flu trials, just dying in mass, uh, or how people are dying in mass from the Gardasil. And then when it comes out, the Gardasil's killing people. It's in mainstream news. Merck planned to send out hit teams. In fact, pull that up next or they won't believe that too, about the Merck hit teams. Uh, Merck planned to, quote, liquidate doctors that criticize them. Now, because, see, this is all good. 
According to them, that's why it came out with Bayer Pharmaceutical. They shipped out over a million ampules of Factor Eight full of HIV and hepatitis B and C, knowing what it would do. And it came out in legal documents. Even MSNBC covered it. You can just Google on YouTube Factor Eight Bayer, and you'll watch the newscast where they knowingly put it in there and then shipped it out when they knew because they it's their religion to kill you. London Telegraph, homeless people die after bird flu vaccine trial in Poland, and they died in mass. Go read it. Folks, you cannot make up the magnitude and how serious this is. I can't believe I'm the big radio host and the guy with the giant sights fighting this. I can't believe it's me. Why am I the one fighting it? Why am I the one that sees it? The yuppies are too self-assured, too arrogant, too haughty, too, oh, yeah, sure, huh? And they wonder why their little kid's dying of cancer at age nine. Listen.